Hey guys, it's Katie, and today I'm just going to show you guys how to make these cute little hair bows. You're going to want to start out by picking any kind of fabric that you would like to use. We're going to cut two squares out of the fabric, a big one and a really small one. The big one is going to be 10.5 inches by 9.5 inches. And you're going to want to cut your small piece of fabric by 3.5 inches by two and a half inches. You're going to start with the bigger square and we're going to fold it in half hot dog style. The longer the longer ends will be touching and you're going to pin along the ten and a half inch side. you're just going to want to sew a seam along where you have placed your pins. It should look like this. I'm only using black thread so it'll appear better in the video. You should probably use a thread that matches. Now you're just going to want to flip this piece of fabric inside out so that the right side is facing you. You're going to want to make sure that the seam is in the center of the piece. And now we're just going to fold this in half so that the width, the smaller ends are touching, hamburger style as they say. <laughs> and then we're just going to pin along these ends again. And then you're just going to want to sew along the edge where you have pinned. And now we're going to do the same exact thing to the small piece of fabric. So again, just fold it hot dog style, long end touching and pin. Make sure that right sides are facing each other as well. And you're just going to sew along this edge where you pinned. And it should look like this. And now we're just going to turn this piece right side out. It's kind of hard because it's smaller, but it should look like this. And again, you're going to make sure that the seam is in the center of the piece. And then we're going to fold this piece in half, hamburger style, and we're going to pin along that edge. And then you're going to sew along that edge. So now your two pieces should look like this. You should have sewed the tops. And the seam should be in the middle. Now you're just going to take your bigger piece and you're going to flip this inside out. And again, make sure that your seam is in the center. Now we're just going to start by taking this piece and we're going to start to fold it accordion style. So you're just going to like fold it like this. This is going to create your bow shape. Now once you have this accordion style fold, you're just going to want to take a pin and run it right through the center of the fabric. Just so that you hold that all together. And you can just set this aside for now. Now we're just going to take our smaller piece of fabric. This is our bow cincher, so you're going to want to flip it inside out. And you're going to want to take the bow that you just folded, and we're going to stick this into the cincher. You're going to want to make sure that the seam of the cincher is on the back of the bow. So you're just going to stick, stick that right through there. And just pull it through and make sure that the center is in the center. You can pull out the pin from the middle once you get part of it on and then just kind of adjust it so it's in the center. And you can just kind of pull and fray out the ends so that it looks more like a bow. Just kind of adjust it till you like the shape of it. Then this is how your bow should look.
Now you're going to want to flip it over because we need to attach the pin so you can actually wear this in your hair. I'm just using a braid clip. You can find them at Walmart. And I'm also using some E6000 glue to attach it to the back of my bow. So once you glue it, you just kind of have to hold it in the center till it dries a bit. And then you can just set that aside. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me see pictures of your hair bows. Tweet me them or follow me on Instagram. And thanks for watching this video.